Hi guys, it's Lydia from the Bear Tarot, where I talk about all things Build-A-Bear. Yes, I did get tripped up on my words. I'm a bit nervous. My husband's actually the cameraman for this video. Um, I want to give you guys a bit of a warning. My husband does collect like anime figurines. Some of them are in swimsuits. We're not going to really show those. They might show up in the background. So if that's something you don't like, like do be on the lookout, or not the lookout, but be aware. Anyways, I guess we're going to start off by like over by the clothes. Alrighty. So we are by the clothing. So this is the collection over here. I want to kind of give you guys a walkthrough, but unfortunately I don't remember everyone. I got these two uh, when I was a kid. This one is not a unicorn. Um, I do believe it's part of the collection actually with this little dragon guy. He's a small fry. So I have this one. It's a fairy. I I always want to say it's like a fairy line. I think it is. We have Shelly, who is the mercat, and she actually has a shirt from Navy Pier because I got her in Navy Pier when I was leaving Chicago to move here, actually. Then we have the unicorn kitty, and this is Twinkles the dragon. Um, I've seen a lot of people actually modify this one to where it has like a pacifier, and I think that's super cute. I'm too afraid to like cut any of them open. And then going down here, we have the Longhorn cows. I have seen a leak that we're getting Highland cows, so I'm very interested to see how that's going to go. We have a hedgehog. We have the ground, groundhog, right? Yeah. Which I've named Funxitani Phil after the guy who predicts the weather. We've got the squirrel, who I actually had a bad Build-A-Bear experience with the squirrel. Would you guys be interested in a video on that? And it does have the E.T. jacket. I don't own E.T. because I thought E.T. looked a little creepy, to be honest. And actually, this red panda and the phoenix fox, the fennec fox, not sure how you pronounce that, came from a trip I went on like two days ago with my husband to the zoo. Then we have the little fawn, who I've named Fawn. We have... The possum and the possum baby, which are Ellie and Allie. I had to give them matching names. And then we have Lammy, which a kind of funny story about Lammy is my husband has been convinced since the Easter collection like released that we do not own this guy, but we've had her for a while. And this little one right here is a dinosaur named Nessie. And this one, I remember exactly where I got it because it was when I was a flight attendant in Chicago and it was like right at the con between concourse B and C at the O'Hare airport where they have the field museum display. I got it for my one year anniversary of being a flight attendant. And that's it for this section. Alrighty, and then we've got another like clothing area. So the shirt, if you can see it, is actually to cover up some like figure related stuff. But anyways, I guess again, we're gonna start from the top. So this is the frog collection, and actually, if you can tell, the basket's too full. We have to get a frog that's out of the basket now. But I've mentioned most of these guys to you in videos. These are like, you know, tie-dye, the pink, the green, the totally teal, the purple, the holiday, again. Uh, oh no, what are these called? Like, I forget their names, but I got the minis of those. I've got many of the pink. I'm trying to get the many of the green. But anyways, on to the others. So this is actually a squishable. This is the Oxalotl. We've got one of the multicolored octopuses. I actually have another. And this is my Oxalotl collection over here. Now you'll notice I have one of the Cubscription Oxalotls over here, and I keep all my other Cubscription bears in another area. But I just couldn't separate her from her family. I'm sorry, I couldn't. Now you can't really see it, but this here is a pillow pet. I can't move too much or else it's gonna topple the entire thing down, but it's a turtle. And then we have the dolphin. I have like some like beanie babies. I've got the little jellyfish. I've got a seahorse. I have the buddy turtle, which I named Squirt. I believe actually it was recommended to me by the employee that the bit build a bear I got it at. And then we have Nora the Narwhal, who a fun fact about narwhals is my mother 
did not know that narwhals existed and thought I was just talking about some imaginary creature. And I think of that every time I look at Nora. I'm, I'm sad that she didn't sell well. I heard she doesn't sell well. But, oh well. I bought her. And then this right here is another one of my octopuses. I got her off of eBay. And she's just so cute. I wish she was like kind of more towards the front. But it's kind of hard to showcase everyone when your aquatic section is this huge. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll move on to the other sections. Alrighty, so this is the bed. And you can see there's a lot of stuffed animals. Actually, not a lot of, all of these are mine. All the squishables you see are my husband's. <laughs> all of those. Um, but we're gonna start from the top and go down. So if you guys are into cryptids, you might recognize some of these guys. This right here is the Grafton Monster. This is like a pink like female version of Mothman, which speaking of, I've got this Mothman and I've got this one. This guy was actually a keychain, and when I was a flight attendant, I would keep him on my purse, but one day he fell off, and now he's just stationary. But a really interesting fact about these three here is I got them at the Mothman Festival in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. If you like Mothman and you live near the area, I do recommend you go. It's really fun. And now we've got the, like, Monkey Hearts Bear. Her name is Libby. And I adore her. Um, a funny story about her is I had been thinking about getting her for a while. And my husband kept on going like, don't get her. She's ugly. Like, don't get that one. She, he got her for me for Valentine's Day. I know I've already told you guys this story if you watched my Valentine's video. But I think it's funny. Which, if you've watched the Valentine's video or you've seen the thumbnail, you'll notice that her outfit's changed. That's actually because I own a pair of pajamas like this as well, so we're still matching. This here is Mr. Bear. Now, I got him when I was like eight years old on my birthday, and he does like everything with me, every big milestone. He's there. When I was in flight attendant training, he went to every single test. When I got married, he was the only guest. That was the guest of honor. <laughs> and I just, I love him. He stays in bed with me every night. Then we have this Coca-Cola bear, which I actually got from the Coca-Cola Museum in Georgia. Don't know why I almost said Alabama, but I got him on a second grade field trip. <laughs> and I just thought he was cool to include. And then we've got all of my husband's squishables. And I'm not as knowledgeable about these as he is, but I do believe we have the Reaper, the Lich, we have the Plague Doctor and the Plague Nurse but they're the uh, Valentine's Day series. And in between the uh, Reaper and the Lich is the little mini tie-dye Reaper. We're, we're thinking about getting the bigger one. We're thinking about getting the bigger one. But back to this line, we've got, again, the Plague Nurse, the Plague Doctor. We've got the Ghost, and then we've got the Undead Steed, I believe. Oh, he just gave me a nod. That's the right one. And then we've got all of the Plague Doctor Incognitos, which a funny story about that is I convinced my husband I had only got him one for like Christmas Hanukkah. And I was like, yeah, you can't get yourself any of them because I'm not going to tell you which one I got you. I got him all of them. And actually, when I gave them to him, I was missing one because I didn't realize it was in the suitcase I hid it from. And he was like, where's this guy? Yep, it was in the suitcase. Um, and then we've got these, which not... All of these guys actually stay on the bed. Some of these we've moved from other locations because they were hard to film. But we have Venus, which is the Venus flytrap. And you might notice she looks different. That's because she's wearing a hat. I actually crocheted this for my husband. And I guess he decided he didn't want to wear it. And it was Venus's hat instead. So now here it is. Um, I made it too big. It's okay. I'm not grumpy. And then we've got a little pom pow. Which, I love these guys. I I want to collect more, but she's my only one so far. We have this little Doom guy. He's the... I can never pronounce it. Is it like the Calco Demon or something? I've played Doom. I just... I just can't pronounce things. I just think he looks neat. He just looks neat. Like a cool guy. And we've got a little cactus and a succulent. I want to get the Build-A-Bear minis. Or like the buddies. 
of the plants because both of us have black thumbs. We're gonna kill any plant we touch. So instead of actually having plants in the room, why not these cuties? And then we've got the like bed protectors. So this guy we got from Sam's Club. We were walking by the aisles. I saw his paw sticking out of the box down an aisle and I freaked out. I knew I had to have him. He barely fit in our car, but I got him. And then, you know, we have the jumbo green spring frog. We have the jumbo pink, jumbo pink oxalotl. And we have the jumbo spring pink frog, which I made a video about noodle, which you guys seem to really like. It's got a lot of views, which surprised me. But yeah, those size guys. And then back over to the bed, we have what we call moth tower. Cause like, look at them, they're stacked, they're cute. Do I remember any of their names? Like what they are? No, but I can tell you what we named them. We have moth and this is moth and you're never going to guess the third guy's name. Take like three guesses, you're not gonna get it. That's right, moth. That's the moth tower, it's all just moths. Um, but yeah, so it's like an inside joke with us to kind of just go like moth, moth, moth and we lose it every time. We're not hard to amuse. But uh, I guess I'll show you the walls now. Me... Alrighty, so sorry guys for the kind of awkward angle here. They are in a weird spot in the room, but if you've seen my holiday collection, you're familiar with everybody. We've got the gingerbread bears. We have glisten. I believe this is actually the glacial glisten, but don't quite quote me on that. The icy penguin. This is the dreidel squishable. We have like the festive panda, I believe it's called. This is the Hanukkah bear. And then we have the like holiday cow. I think it was called like the Mooey cow. I can't quite remember. Don't quote me, but I just, I love them all. I love them all. I know I've said this before. I'm Jewish, but these like Christmas bears, they just stole my heart. So moving down, we have this little Pokemon that I never remember the name of, but yes, I have turned it Jewish. It's one of the Build-A-Bear sets, actually, but I just thought it was cute. Now we have giant Snorlax, like, he's huge. I love him. Can't wrap my arms around him. He's great. And we have this Pokemon. Also, cannot remember its name. Listen, I like Pokemon because they're cute, not because I remember their names. But this guy, I actually saved. My mother wanted to learn how to sew, and she decided that it would be a perfect pin cushion, and I cried for so long that she decided not to use it, and it was mine. <laughs> so that's how I got that guy. And now, actually, we can see the start of, like, my addiction over here. So I'm going to skip around real quick. My husband's going to hate me. It's fine. I got Isabel and Stitch. At the same time, and that was like December of 2021, and I've gotten at least 120 bears since then. <laughs> but anyways, we've got Isabel from Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's the only Animal Crossing I've ever played. And I got it solely because it released on the same day as Doom Maternal. She is wearing my favorite outfit for her. Do I remember what season it is? No. I believe it might be spring, though. But don't quote me. So next, we have the Vision and Wanda Bear. And me and my husband watched WandaVision together. It was, like, our show. We both fell in love with it. Now, after we watched the show, he was hunting and hunting and hunting, hunting for a Wanda Bear. Could not find her anywhere. He was enlisting his friends to help. They couldn't find her. I actually found her on Facebook. Someone was selling her. I got her. She was like over $100, but she's worth it because I wanted to complete the collection because Vision and Wanda mean so much to us. And then we've got this little sloth fairy guy from Miss Marvel. I've actually never seen the show. I just like sloths. I thought he was cute. I've named him Belle, which is actually off of that movie Meet the Croods. If you ever seen it, it's not very good, but that's what he's named after. So we've got Angel and we've got Stitch. 
which again, I told you Stitch is one of the ones that got me started on my addiction again. And we've got these little Care Bears. These guys are like from 2006, so my childhood. I was born in 97. And we've got the Pokemon Corner. Now, as you know, not all of these guys are Build-A-Bears, but oh well. We've got Sylveon, we've got Bulbazar, we've got Gengar, we have, let's see, I have to get down to see them. Teddy Ursa, we've got the female Pikachu. Now that is one I was really big on. I wanted the female Pikachu. And if you don't know, you can tell Pikachus apart by their tail shapes. Now, if they have a heart, they're a female. And if they have the straight one, like the Texas Pikachu, they're a male. So that's how you can tell your Pikachus apart. Woo! Almost knocked them out. So then we've got Cubone, which I just like because he's got a morbid backstory. It's cute. It's sad. I love it. We have my different Pikachu, so we've got like a Halloween Witch, Detective Pikachu. We've got another Snorlax, because I just, I like him, he's cute. And then we have Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu, creepy, cute. I've heard that there's a Mimikyu Build-A-Bear coming out. I'm so excited, I want him so badly. So now we're going over to one of our taller shelves. And over here, we have like different dogs. I really love Snowzers. My one dog, well, I've had more dogs, but like my first dog was this miniature Schnauzer, and I just love them since then. So this is a promise pet, and they used to have this really cool feature, I don't think they have it now, where they had magnets in their mouth. And this is her little puppy, and it just hooks in by a magnet, and she actually has an assistance dog vest, which I love, I think it's cute. Um, yes, I say I think it's cute a lot, because I think... All my bears are cute. We have the Patriotic Pup. We have, this is the 24th and 25th anniversary uh, Hearts for You, I believe, Pup, who I have named Hearts. I think I've mentioned this before. Just so cute. And then I have a squishable hot dog, wiener dog, because that just, I love the little plan words and like, I think he's so cute. Um, so going up. We have the spring collection shelf, which I've already talked to you guys about if you've seen the video. If not, we've got a lamb wearing a bunny suit. We've got a buddy's lamb. We have a Paulette. She was not part of this Easter collection. I think she was part of last year's. We have a chick as a carrot, because I think it's cute. I think it's funny. The floral Paulette who I didn't mention this in my video, but one of the reasons I picked her out actually is because she has the flowers right here and I thought it looked kind of like lipstick and I thought it was so neat. And then we have some older lambs, which this is, you know, the lamb and then her little baby, the buddy. And I wanna show off the little pajama set because look at how cute that is. I miss like some of the clothes they used to make. And then going up another shelf, we have the Girl Scout collection, which again, I've made a video about this, but I'll just kind of quickly go over them. We have Lo, which is, I believe, the Trufoil Bear. We have the Coconut Caramel Bear, which I'm blinking on her name. However, I believe this is Savannah. We have Gloria, who's the Thin Mints Bear. We have the Eventful Bear named Carmen. And then lastly, we have Mildred, who is the s'mores bear. I've actually tried this Girl Scout s'mores cookie. Not the biggest fan, I've gotta be honest. But, oh well. So moving on up a shelf, this is the Vegas shelf. Or like the relationship shelf. So we start off with the 25th anniversary Hello Kitty. And she's here because we went to the Hello Kitty cafe the day before we got married. And then, we have my husband's first build bear This is Sprinkles. She is wearing a tux because she's meant to like represent him. We have a flamingo because we stayed at the flamingo when we got to Vegas. It's a squishable. And then we have the bear we named Vegas who is a Las Vegas exclusive bear. Ooh, almost dropped flamingo. We have a violet, which is again, oh no. I don't think I'm gonna get Flamingo to sit. I'm gonna have to just set her somewhere else for my husband to fix. 
Um, but we have Violet, who again is another 25th anniversary bear. I do not remember which bear she is, but I do remember she's significant to us because we got her together. This was the first bear we got together. And then we have Cinnamon Roll. I call it Cinnamon Roll. I know it's spelled differently. I can't pronounce the real name. Who is here just because Hello Kitty's here. They're buddies. We can't separate them. That'd be mean. Which again, I have kind of a video about this and then going up another shelf that has a video about it. But this is my Southwest collection. Now, I've mentioned it. I used to be a flight attendant. I did not work for Southwest. In fact, I'm gonna let you on a little secret. Southwest is probably my least favorite airline I've flown on. I, I don't like the open seating. I don't like the open seating. I'm sorry, I like my assigned seats. <laughs> um, but we have like the vintage flight attendant, which was celebrating their 50th anniversary. We have the pilot bear. We have their National Teddy Bear Day for 2018 bear, who does have like the Southwest heart, which all of them have. We have another flight attendant bear and all of these guys I got secondhand besides the vintage flight attendant bear. And he came with this little like suitcase, so we just kept it with him. And then lastly, we have the Ramper Bear. Who just look at him, he's so cute. I always liked watching the Rampers do their job when the doors of the plane would be open. I would just like watch them. It was always so cool. <laughs> um, not a job I would want to do. But it looks interesting, especially like if you see their TikToks, they look like they're having fun. All right, so next shelf. This is the Seasons of Hugs Bears. Now, I kept my lanyard up here because build -Bear used to do like pen collecting and I have the Summer Bear and the Spring Bear pens on here. My husband's yawning, I thought he was trying to talk to me. Um, but anyways, here is the spring bear. I own her already. So kind of funny story is I have so many bears, I didn't realize I already own her. And I ordered another one off of eBay, only to discover as soon as she came in, I already own her. Um, but she is wearing the Hello Kitty pajamas because it just matches her, it looks cute. Then we have the Summer, who, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but she's wearing bows. Were you guys Build-A-Bear fans when they used to give out the bows? Because I had so many. I would go in and they would just give me handfuls. They stopped that because apparently it's a choking hazard nowadays, which, I, I mean, I get it. But still, it's sad to see the bows go. We have the Autumn Hugs Bear, which I am very, very proud of because I found it in new with tags condition. Like, look, she has all of her original tags how cool is that including her pen and she wasn't like unreasonably priced either it was insane um and then we have the winter hugs bear which i actually do have its pen i just this is embarrassing but i have so much build bear stuff that i did misplace it i tried to find it for the video i couldn't oh well and then finally top shelf. I can see my husband's hands are starting to cramp. He's swapped hands. Um, so I'm trying to speed this up for him. Is again, more squishables. These are kind of my guys though. So we have the queen bee. We have the Honduran bat because I love bats. I love them so much. It's probably one of the reasons I love Mothman. And then we have a pigeon. Now I love pigeons. When I moved here, a question I asked my husband was, do you have pigeons? Because if the answer was no, he had to come to Chicago because I love pigeons. Um, I wanted one as a pet, actually. So I was very happy when they released it. And then we have Mothman. Now something cool is Mothman actually has magnets. Woo! Went for a little fly in his wings so he can like hide. And that's so cool. And also it's kind of good that he fell because I can show you like all the detailing in the wings. I was actually pretty mad at Squishable about this guy. They do not communicate well if you pre-order. I do not recommend pre-ordering, to be honest. But he, he's really nice. Like, 
made me a lot less angry. I gotta be honest. But anyways, I'm gonna give my husband a break. I'll show you the next section soon. Alrighty. So up top we have like the more special bears. So we have the Swarovski bear. I'm sorry, I don't remember the names for these ones. And we have like the Winter Swarovski bear and in the middle is the Hanukkah heart box, which I did make a video unboxing this. So if you wanna see what all come in, in the heart box, then go watch that. All right, now on our window, we have this little like plane with all these guys and something interesting is they do come out. I think I have them all secured in and they become finger puppets. Like, okay. Um, so I got these in the Detroit airport back when I was a flight attendant. I know I say that a lot, I'm sorry. But there's actually stores for airline crews called Crew Outfitters, which sell like some parts of your uniform, some things you might need for your suitcase. And this one happened to have these guys. So I got them because they're just, they're just cute. I'm sorry, I say that a lot, but they're cute. Fight me. So moving down, we have Gizmo and his little red car. Have you seen Gremlins? Have you? If so, you know about his little red car. Then we have Grogu. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I actually haven't gotten that far in the show, but he's cute. We've got a Porg. And now these guys. So this is the Pittsburgh Pirates mascot. Unfortunately, his name is Parrot. I think that's a lame name. I'm sorry, guys. Step it up. Name him like Pete or something. But I actually went to my first baseball game the other day. The same time I went to the zoo, so about two days ago. And I am not a baseball fan. I am not. I am a baseball game fan, though. Like, going was fun. So I had to get him. And this right here, I'm trying to quiet him, is Duck Duck. He is like my first ever stuffed animal. He's actually a rattle. And if you sniff him, he smells like baby powder because he was like my protector during diaper changes. So he always got hit with baby powder. I love him. And he actually like stays in the display case normally. And this right here, so I think I might have mentioned this, but my husband is like really into racing. Like if it's on wheels and it has an engine, he likes it. So he went to a race with a few of his friends and they know I love teddy bears. So they got me this little model car, which is actually the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory. And I just, I love it. I think it's so cute. And it again, stays in the display case. It just makes me so happy because I don't even think me and my husband were publicly engaged at the time. We were secretly engaged, but his friends still got something for me and were like, we want to meet you eventually. I have since met these friends. They're very nice. So yeah, it's all worked out. <laughs> so over here, we have Toothless and we have the Light Fury, who I have named Luna. I did a lot of research before naming her and apparently in the books, they do refer to her as Luna. So going down, they're kind of falling over. I'm sorry about that. We have the pumpkin spice bear. And then we have a little penguin. Um, now I've kind of tried to organize all these categories by like similar things. And their similar theme is being quote unquote basic. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why they're there. And I... I don't remember when I got the penguin, but it was a while ago. Um, then we have these ones who, this is one of the grab bag ones. She came with her own little heart, but I forgot to get them to put it inside of her. So now it just rests out here. And we have this little cat. Do I remember what it is? No, but I do remember my mother for some reason hated peace signs. So she really did not want me to get this particular cat. And I was only able to get it because I promised to cover up as many peace signs as I could. <laughs> um, so moving on over, should I do those fingers? Okay. We've got the little greenies, uh, like eco-friendly panda. I love her. 
I'm saving this spot for, <laughs> we've kind of revealed where we live, so I'll go ahead and say this. Um, I'm saving this spot for the like eco-friendly bunny. I have to smuggle it into the state. I don't know if you guys noticed that online, but it's illegal to ship it <laughs> here. So I have to like figure out a way to smuggle it, but I will get my hands on that bunny and that bunny will sit right here. <laughs> so this is like a Valentine's Day section. Now I have these two propped up actually using a gift box. So we want to do something like that for the back. That's just a little side note of how we're organizing everything. But we have like a hearts for you, something like that there. I had to get her on eBay, but she's so cute. I love her. And then we have the devil bear. Again, so cute. Um, it does have a little like devil tail, which I've mentioned this again in my Valentine's Day video. But a lot of people were complaining that the tails were misshapen. That's just because they didn't turn the corners well. You can just poke those out yourself and get a nice pointy tail. That's what I had to do. And then going down, we have this little pink one. I really wish I could remember its name, and I don't. Well, I mean, I know her name. This is Pinkie Pie, but I don't remember what type of bear she is. And then we have this little, like, butterfly one. I love the butterfly on the nose and the feet. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but she actually has sparkly fur. And it just, it shines so well. I love her. Now, moving on over, this is part of, oh no, what was it? The Cozy Collection. I have named her Snuggles. I love her. She is so soft. I wish they would release more bears with this particular fabric but we'll see if it happens. And we've got this one. This is the Reed Teddy. I was second guessing myself for a second, but no, this is the Reed Teddy. Super cute, super soft. I love the like butterscotchness of the fur. Um, and then moving over, we have my koala collection. So this one I got for, I can't remember if it was graduating high school or graduating cosmetology school. Um, I won't play the sound for you, but it actually plays How Far I'll Go from Moana. <laughs> I was really into the song at the time. And then just a little comparison is we have the vintage koala. And just look at the difference. There's no like toes. This one has little claws. This one doesn't. Just, yeah, that's this section though. Alrighty, so again, starting from the top, we have like, this is all these top two rows are kind of like flying themed, but here we have a Hawaiian Airlines plane, which my husband got for me for, oh no, was it my birthday? Or was it like Hanukkah? It was one of the two. Hanukkah? Okay. He nodded for that one. Um, cause Hawaiian Airlines is one of my favorite airlines, even though I haven't flown on them. Here's to hoping someday. Um, especially before they get new uniforms cause I love their current. Um, we have a little UFO squishable, and then we have another squishable. This one is also from the undercover line. It's a corgi as an astronaut, and I also got this at Navy Pier at, like, the Children's Museum gift shop. Um, just, it's so cute. It's so cute. I've named it Captain Wiggles. Um, and I just think it's a great name. So, down here, we have the Barrelian which we did discover that besides us loving the Pirates because that's the local team, I also love the Houston Astros. Have you looked up their mascot? Look up their mascot. It's adorable. I love Astro. I need Astro as a stuffed animal. I need them on everything. But we're thinking about getting like an Astros like uniform or shirt or something to put on Pandora. So, you know, the alien represents another alien. So we have Hello Kitty as an astronaut, which my in-laws got for me in Florida at, oh no, I forget the name of it, but one of the space centers. And they also got me this Tinkerbell at Disney. That's their nickname for me, Tinkerbell. Um, and now this is an embarrassing story to tell. So this is Dufree. Now I got him, I believe, in either 
No, it had to be Montreal because I've only spent the night in Canada and Montreal. But my crew and I got to the airport a little early, so we were walking around looking at the stores, and we walked into the duty-free store. And that's where I found him. I fell in love. A crew member actually helped me pick out which one I liked the face of the best, and he won. Now, I was reading his tag, and somewhere on it, it says something like, a do-free will donate so much. And I assumed that was his name, do-free. Makes sense. Um, it wasn't until I was explaining this to my husband over the phone that I realized that do-free meant duty-free and that wasn't his name. But by then, it was too late. His name is do-free. <laughs> um, and then we've got Snoopy and we've got Woodstock, and Snoopy is his aviator self. Now, a fun thing about me is I don't like Christmas music. I never have, even like growing up when I celebrated Christmas. Was not my thing. I love Snoopy's Christmas. That is like my favorite Christmas song of all time. I still listen to it. It, it makes me so happy. <laughs> so moving down the shelf, we have the Cup Scripture Box shelf. And we have the current cup scripture box right here. I'm waiting for the April one. It's a dinosaur. Or is it a crocodile? It's something. It's something cute. And I love it. And I'm so excited. But we have this one. The name's Snoopy. I believe this is the summer. Um, he came with a tie-dye shirt. I never tie-dyed it. I didn't want to mess it up. We have Lucy. Who was the fall box. And then we have Sweets who is the winter box, and I actually do have a video of me unboxing the winter cup scripture box, if you're curious. Now moving down, we have the 25th anniversary shelf. Now, you might notice I have two of the same bear, and that is correct, but I'll get to them in a moment. So this right here is Barry. I do not remember what he is. Is he a cuddly? A chubby, cuddly, I don't remember. He's cute, he's chubby. I love him, I love him. Now this is Cheryl. She is a Triceratops. I named her after an actual Triceratops that was found whose name was Cheryl. <laughs> um, then we have the 25th anniversary bear itself. Her name is Annie for anniversary. Um, now, I actually am going to be a little bit of a hater on this one. I am not a big fan of her joint, like, jointed hips so she can sit. I think it makes her clunky. I don't quite like it, but she's cute enough to, like, make up for the weird hips. So, moving over, here's my two same bears. So, this is the 25th anniversary cuddly teddy, if you can see palm is silver and her name is curly really takes like a lot of brains to come up with that one I know but I think it's a fitting name and then this is like the original and this one does not have a name it was not originally mine I inherited it but I love her anyways and I've got to think of her name eventually so moving down we have this like pink leopard and her baby. Look. Now this is Pandora. That's the company's given name for this little tie. Like I think they're called the Boo Babies. She's just so cute. Look at her little like golden embossed moons. I love her. And now this is this a leopard? I'm not good with animals. But this was one of I think it was a zoorific leopard. That's what I'm gonna go with. Am I wrong? Maybe. <laughs> um, then again, we have a Beanie Boo. And this is another Palm Pal. I named it Chubbs because it's chubby. Just look at it. So cute. Just look at that. Um, and it's sitting with my collection of the... Oh no. So I have, what is it? Two tabby kitties and one like cuddly cat or something like that. And this one right here, 
this is Lydia 1.0, I'm renaming it, <laughs> and this moment is uh, my very first Build-A-Bear ever. This is who's to blame. <laughs> um, but I've got like each step up in the generations. This is Lydia 2.0, and this is the 25th anniversary, and it is Lydia 3.0, and I'm holding and putting back Lil Bub who I actually got to meet in person. I got to meet her and it was so nice. I petted her and she was so soft and I love her. Okay, moving down the rows. I'm gonna have to get low to see this. So we have the happy birthday bear, which see, you can see the feet. He was dressed as the Riddler. I did mention in my Girl Scout video that Mildred was originally dressed as the Riddler, so I swapped it over. Then we have the 2017 the Reed Teddy or not the Reed Teddy sorry the National Teddy Bear Day um and then we have I think this is the Champ Bear don't quite quote me on that but an interesting feature is that it actually has like this little like heart patch I don't know if you can see it but it's there I feel like bad for how I'm handling her but yeah she's so cute and then this is one of the I believe it's the Dairy Queen Sunday bears um so she's got like a little cherry on her nose and a little Sunday on her feet and I love her and I'm really debating trying to go and collect the entire Dairy Queen line but that's gonna be a pain to track everyone down all right so moving over we've got kind of like the cow station so this is a squishmallow strawberry cow we have the Build-A-Bear Strawberry Cow, the Build-A-Bear Blueberry Cow, and we have the regular Cuddly Cow. Um, they're just adorable. I love them. Like, there's not much more I can say besides just look at them. That, I think that's, like, enough for them. Just look at them. So moving down, we have the Crayola Bear, and it's got the Crayola outfit. So something really cool about this is the white spot on the apron and the feet. If you get water on it, it makes this really neat, colorful pattern. And it's just so cute. Then we have this little sprinkles bear. Um, really wish we want to have named Sprinkles Sprinkles, but hey, it's my husband's bear. He wanted to name her Sprinkles, so we had to think of another name for this one. Which I feel bad. This is the only one so far that has a name that I have completely blanked on her name. I feel bad. Um, <laughs> this is a colorful Triceratops. Just look at her. Look at all those little colors. I love it. Now she has a sound. I have no clue what that sound is, so I'm not gonna even mess with it. Um, I do believe her patterns are just hearts. And just, I love it. I love it. Now, this is meant to be one of the smaller bears. I forget what this series is called, but I really like the rainbow hearts. I do, I do. What can I say? I'm a sucker for colorful. And then we have Penelope, who has like these really shiny feet and her, oh, it's not her ears, it's the ribbons, I forgot. But yeah, her ears even have the little shiny bit inside and I really wish I could tell you what she was too but I forget her now moving down again we have the koala with her little joey which I thought I was being very clever naming Kanga and Rue this one was these two were featured in my winter but this is the little like mouse and this is Holly and Minnie Holly now, I'm not sure how well you can see them, so I'll kind of lift them, but this is the next shelf. This one I got at a thrift store in Chicago near my apartment. I was walking through the stuffed animals. I saw her and I had to rescue her. Now I'm going to cover her ears for this, but honestly, I'm not a big fan of her. But I just got really sad thinking about her being alone, so I got her. Anyways. Her name is Harmony, because I know, like, peace, love, harmony. Um, and then 
this one is really going to set in like how old I am and how long I've enjoyed Build-A-Bear because this is a high school musical bear. <laughs> um, like still has the little dog tag with the cast and the name and like this is not like a high school musical two. This is not a high school musical three. This is <laughs> the original high school musical, but I still like it. I still think it's cute. It was a part of my childhood. And yeah, I, I love it. Alrighty. And then last but not least is the Halloween section. <laughs> now I'm gonna try to walk, work from back to front. So we have this squishable. There's another incognito. It's a black cat as a pumpkin. We have Oogie Boogie. This is the 2022 werewolf. Um, we have this little buddy who is a spider, which I am terrified of spiders, but that one's so cute. We have Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. We have the Light Up Pumpkin, um, which I actually embarrassed myself in store. I grabbed one and went to go see how it lights up and it wouldn't turn on and I thought it was broken. So we brought it up to the employees. Now, turns out there's a switch that you have to turn on. Um, we have the Zomfrog, which there are rumors that they may be making a full size one for this Halloween, so I'm excited. We have the 24th, not 24, 25th anniversary Zombear, who I love. I just love it. It's so like creepy and cute. I know I keep saying that, but it's the truth. I'm sorry. It's true. Then we have the uh, Frankenstein's Monster Bride. So I named Eva. Um, I can't remember why. I think it might have been after one of the actresses, or maybe it's like, one of the characters' names, I'm not sure, but it's a nice name for her. And then we have Beetlejuice. Now, I've mentioned in a video that I picked out my own name. I didn't resonate with my birth name. I picked it out. Now I'm going to let you guys on, on a little secret. I did indeed name myself after Lydia Dietz. I was really into the movie. I was really into the musical. And I went, you know what? Why not? And... Now my name's Lydia. And then last but not least in this section, we have the little pumpkin bear who I got off of eBay. And I just, I love her. I love her, look at her. She's so cute. She's like scraggly a little, but I love her. And yeah, that's it for the wall section. Alrighty, and that's pretty much the end of the video. But I did realize there's a few ones I forgot to show you. So this is Miss Nurse. Now, she is like the keychain version of the plague nurse, and she is mine. Um, I, <laughs> this is silly, but I get really lonely at work and I miss my husband a lot. So I asked him to pick me out a like keychain that I could just keep in my pocket at work and it would remind me of him. And he picked out Miss Nurse. And I love her and she always is just there in my pocket and when I need a little pick me up, I reach in and I pet her, which is kind of why. Her fur's a little dirty. And then last but not least, you've already seen this one, but I forgot to talk about it. So this is my very first Squishable. This is the Fairy Griffin, and she is limited edition. I'm reading off of her tag. There was 2,000 made. I have number 1,538. And I got her at a convention before I'd ever heard of Squishables. Um, I just thought she was adorable and I had to have her. And now she just makes a nice little collection to like my fantasy section. But yeah, I love her. She's cute. She's pastel. But anyways, guys, that was the room tour and like all of my stuffed animals currently. Let me know what you think. Is this video what you expected? Did you enjoy it? And will I have to make another next year? We'll find out. Have a good one, guys.